Welcome, welcome. We are going to be checking out the trailer for The Watchers, mm -hmm. directed by Ishana Knight Shyamalan, the daughter of M. Knight Shyamalan, the famous director. This film is also produced by him. So we're going to be looking at the trailer, do a critical analysis afterwards. So stick around. Let's get to it. I'm going out tonight. Try not to die. Try not mm. to die. Try not to die. I thought you couldn't talk. Don't look at me like that. It's just something I do sometimes. Mm -hmm. That'll happen. <laughs> Who's out there? There's a car. There's something. Ooh. You have five seconds before the door is sealed. Five, four. Better run. Three, two. All right, she made it. What's behind that door? What is happening? What is this place? I don't mean to scare you, but we haven't much time. It's not wise to keep them waiting. They'll be very interested in someone new. It's a window on the other side. They come every night. And they watch us. What is that? What are they doing? Applause. Well, you mean it. <laughs> That's scary. How long have you been here? I don't know. And you've never seen one. No one sees one and survives. They have come to our world for a reason. I'm not supposed to be here. And I'm not staying here. They allow us to live because we follow their rules. You have broken too many. What did he say? I'm trying to get in. I saw myself. Uh, uh. Someone's out there. Please open the door. John? Mm -hmm. My husband's outside. This is a trick. Oh my god. Help me. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Ooh. Okay, Wyatt. I think you're getting your monster film. It's something. Um, <laughs> it's uh, gosh. Man. I've I've been listening to so many of the old uh, creepy pasta stuff from uh, this one from this podcast I'm listening to, and it this feels like those. It feels like one of those old, you know uh internet forum creepy stories that people would write and uh it, you know it feels fun i'm i'm not it it was genuinely kind of unsettling and creepy and you're not sure what's going on you're not sure who's watching which right. i think is probably the point yeah the <laughs> yeah, yeah how it made me feel was reminiscent of the old m night films Mm -hmm. And not so much his new films. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, uh, if you go back to Signs or mm -hmm. The Village or The Sixth Sense, you, it, 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 it's obviously it's a different style because it's, it's more modern. It feels more modern filmmaking, but the heart of what his old films mm -hmm. felt like. And so it's very interesting. Uh, obviously, we can't know. Um, how strong of a story this is going to be until we yeah. see it. But maybe there's something in the Shyamalan family to where you put out some really intense, well-told, creepy stories in your early years, and then you graduate to just high concept. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Whatever he's doing now. <laughs> whatever he's doing um, now. <laughs> the, I, I think the issue that we get into here a lot with horror movies is from a trailer, you, you're never really going to be able to tell if the story is good. Sure. Uh, which 
is an important part of a movie, I think, is that the story be well told. Um, now, I mean, a lot of horror movies, there's not much story, but there's a lot of horror and action. And, and sometimes that's OK. But this looks like it's relying pretty heavily on the story of these characters that are being watched and, and what's going on behind the scenes with the creatures. I'm hoping that uh, the director doesn't fall into kind of the trap of believing that there needs to be a twist. I know uh, Papa Shyamalan <laughs> typically typically does a twist. And also, uh, I know this movie is being produced by M. Night, but I, I would hope that this director can, um, you know, kind of blaze her own trail mm. and, and establish kind of her own style and not fall under the shadow obviously you're gonna fall under the shadow of m night Shyamalan. i thought you were about to say the Shyamalan shadow i the really Shyamalan wanted shadow. to say that <laughs> yeah shadow on it's it's def it would it's definitely difficult it's a big shadow and as long i i but i think she has an opportunity to sort of do something interesting and creative here this does have risk of kind of following a similar format that her dad has mm -hmm. done, right? But that's not a bad thing, especially if this is one of her right. first films. I'm curious. I don't know much about her. I haven't seen another film that she's done. Mm -mm. So if this is one of her first films or her first feature film or something like that, I'm super interested into what this next generation of Shyamalanians, yeah. um, <laughs> what they have to pull out of their um, – their hats, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I really just hope it's a good movie. I, I think people are kind of starving for some really good horror these days. It's been a lot of trash, if we're being completely honest. And so I think a, a, a good solid horror film would be, um, especially now, especially right now, if she can pull this one off right now, um, that's a good notch in her belt. And also outside of the box thinking from traditional horror, what is this? Some creatures mm -hmm. want to observe you. You know yeah. what I mean? And so you're just kind of on this observing sacrifice, sacrificial altar mm -hmm. for these creatures. So it's a very interesting concept outside of the box. I think let's go for it. And hopefully yeah. it blows us away and makes us shiver in our seats. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. We really appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video so a ton of people can watch our reaction to this trailer for The Watchers. We'll see you next time.